Hey guys, Smooth Comics here, back at another video. Today I want to talk about how to make a street level hero. Now first I have to explain what street level means, for those of you who don't know. A street level is a term for a character who is low powered. Think of Batman, Spider-Man, Daredevil. They have powers, but they're on the low. Now they're not going to pick up whole buildings and throw them around. They're, it's low level stuff. And the benefit of these characters is that they're a bit more grounded. These type of characters are always more grounded, like Taskmaster, Destro, that character. But then you're wondering, well, a character who's grounded like that, how is that going to be fun? But think about it. Street level characters are all about versatility. Batman set the standard for what street level characters are like. Batman, when he showed up in the 1930s, he set the standard for street level heroes. It's all about the immense versatility of a character. It's not about how hard they can punch. It's about the sheer number of things that they can do. Batman set that standard for street level heroes. The premier character of DC. So when you make a low level character, it's it's about how it's not about how hard they can punch, it's about the sheer number of things they can do. Look at Daredevil. Daredevil, simple character. He has super senses. Okay. Uh, think of the number of things you can do with super senses. You can hear someone's heartbeat and tell if they're lying. You can also sense air currents to tell where everybody is at all times. You can also predict enemy movements ahead of time. So let's say, even if you're fighting a super powerful character who's faster than light, you can still predict what you're going to do. And stuff like that. And here's the thing, having super senses is nothing compared to super strength, like somebody like Superman or Thor or something like that. But the sheer versatility of having those senses, the sheer number of things you can do with those senses. It, it, it compensates for that. Now, you have, to, you have to approach the superior medium like a business. This is a competitive industry. Every single superhero is in competition with every other superhero. So when you make a hero, realize you're in competition with every other hero. So what's going to make your character stand out? Well, a street level hero, they might not be as strong as Superman, but they're way more versatile. Batman may not be as strong as Superman, but he's more versatile. Batman's a billionaire. He has every gadget you can possibly imagine. He just has so many gadgets. The list just goes on and on and on and on and on of the sheer number of gadgets that he has. And that type of thinking is exactly what you need. That type of thinking is exactly what you need when you're making a street level hero. It's about the versatility. Like, go and play the the, the Batman Arkham game. Batman is not that powerful of a character. He's not like Superman. He's not, he can't pick up a building and throw it at you. But he's got so many gadgets, and it's fun to play those games. It's fun to use all those crazy gadgets. It, that stuff is fun. And the sheer number of things that he can do compensates for it very well. That's what makes street-level characters fun. It's the number of things they can do. I think people like... People like... Who's another level of character I've mentioned? Daredevil. I already mentioned Daredevil, but I stick Daredevil. I want a Daredevil game so bad. I want a Daredevil video game so bad. Because imagine having super senses and the crazy stuff you can do with that. You can tell people are lying, predict people's moves. This, you can hear so well. that like you can just tell the entire surrounding. You just know the entire area at all times. Doesn't that sound fun? You just know the whole area? Just know it all before it even happens? 
I don't know about y'all, but that sounds fun to me. Now, the reason why we have terms like street level is because superheroes, uh, because characters with different power levels, it's just like, think of it like MMA. In MMA, we have weight classes. We have featherweights, flyweights, heavyweights, stuff like that. And because of those weights, it makes the fights more, makes the fights more interesting. Some people prefer the heavyweight fighters. Some people prefer the lightweight fighters. And you can just go in to watch whatever weight class you prefer. That same benefit is also given to fictional characters. Some people prefer the ultra-powerful Superman-type character. Like Thor. Like... Like, uh... uh right. Vaporeon. Not Hyperion, Hyperion, and characters like that. And all of them can work respectively. But street level characters, the appeal is the versatility. It's the versatility of the character. The, the sheer number of gadgets that Batman has. He has so many gadgets. The martial arts, the gymnastics of Daredevil. <coughs> they are all about versatility. Now, it's funny when you write a low-powered character who's going up against a high-powered character. There's plenty of examples of Daredevil fighting somebody like the Hulk. Do you think, wouldn't the Hulk just destroy him? Wouldn't the Hulk just destroy him easily? No, because those super senses, and this is where the versatility comes to mind. Think it, it come, again, it's just like boxing. Just because someone is in a lower weight class does not mean that they cannot hang with the big boys. It does not mean they can't hang with the big boys because they are so skilled, because they are so versatile, because they're so they perfected they perfected their technique so well that they can, on, on occasion, uh, uh, one of the lower weight classes can hang with the big boys, and that's the appeal of the low level type characters their sheer versatility oh well guys like subscribe see you guys later subscribe for the full comic switch to gender ninja you're, you're probably going to be seeing a lot more teases pretty soon